Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This one is going to be about an update that I've been working on to give you guys the ability to share uniforms. I'm always being asked how uniforms can be shared. If you create a really cool uniform and you want to share it with people, it's really annoying to have to put that code in that's an all pro football, right? So there has been a workaround to do this, but I wanted to make it a lot easier for you guys. So I spent a little bit of time uh, updating it and it's available in the latest update to APFB. And I'm going to show you how it works. So let's just say that we have the Warthogs here and we wanted to put a uniform on them. Well, first of all, if we look in our uniform database here, if you go to tools and you go to uniform editor, you're going to be able to see on here that I have a Buffalo Bills uniform that I created. So this is the only one that I have in my database. You may have a different set, okay? But what you can do now is, if you wanna update, this is, this is the same as before, but if you wanna update and you wanna change your team, the Warthog, you wanna change them to be the Buffalo Bills uniform, you need to upload the current jersey to the database and then you can select from any one you have in your library which i only have the one right so but let's say you don't want to keep this warthogs right so you can go over here as you could before when this was released you can go in here you can check the warthogs and you can delete it now it's gone so if you go back and you look you're not going to see the warthogs uh jersey in there you really won't even be able to upload them now because you've already chosen another uniform. So if you want to upload them, you have to do it uh, a different way. You have to probably delete. You're going to want to delete this out of here, which I'll do now just for fun. And you're going to come over here and now you can upload again. Okay. Well, let's just say that your friends made some really, really cool uniforms. Okay. What you can do is you can actually import those uniforms into your uh, your library. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna actually, I wanna just show you, it, let's say this was a custom uniform and let's just say that you picked a, uh, just whatever, just a picture that I just selected. So now you have a uniform with a picture and this is your custom Buffalo Bills uniform, okay? What you can do now which is really cool, is you can actually select by checking here. If you don't check there, you're not gonna get it, but you can actually select that uniform. You can edit the name. So now you're not stuck with these weird names. Even if your friend named them in a weird manner, you can do it and change it yourself. So let's say I wanna make this the Buffalo Bills uniform, whatever. And I hit okay. And then from here, it's going to ask you if you want to upload a picture. If you choose yes, it will overwrite the picture that's already here. So I'm just going to actually do that. And I'm going to pick for fun a 49ers uh, picture. So now it's gone. Now, if I want to do it again, you cannot change it unless you change this. Let's just say, okay, you know what? I don't like that picture. You can change it, change it back. But you have to at least change the name to go in here. It's going to ask you, do you want to upload again? I'm going to say yes, and I'll pick the picture that I want. And like I said, if you want to make it the, the original name, you can do that. You just need to edit again, put it back to the Buffalo Bills, and then hit no this time. And you have, um, actually, if you hit no, it will take away the old picture, right? So if you're, if you're changing it, you're actually going to need to put a picture in there. So make sure that you don't lose your pictures, guys. Um, and I'll hit yes again, I'll bring over my picture, and now it's there, All right? So if we go over to home, you'll see it carried over, and it's still the only one we have in our database, right? Now, if you wanna export out, let's say I wanna, you know what, I wanna share this, I wanna export it out, you can basically just hit export jersey file, you can select a folder, let's just do export here, and I'm gonna go ahead and select that folder, hit okay, and it's gonna tell you it was exported to this directory, let me go ahead and drag that over so you guys can see it. We're gonna open it up. And now you're gonna see this uniforms folder, okay? With one file in it and the image, right? So basically by exporting, it's gonna give you the file that they need and also the image, right? So for instance, I have another export that I did 
that is over here in this uniforms folder okay it has all these different teams it has a list of different teams on here and I'm going to show you what it looks like when you import okay hopefully you guys are following along now when you import it will not it will not overwrite any of these that have the same name or the same jersey okay so if your jersey and or name already exists it's not going to overwrite what you have okay so what you can do is you can either if you want to kill the ones you have you can delete them like this <clears throat> or you can just import and it will append the ones that are unique <clears throat> okay so let's go ahead and do an import and from here we're going to click on the uniforms that my friend gave me um, it'll show you the file you have to pick a file that ends in INI so it's going to be this one here double click on it it's going to say successfully imported 73 uh, uniforms to your database okay now if you look on here you're going to be able to see the ones that have pictures that your friend gave you you're going to be able to see them now in here so they're now available okay so it's that easy and when you go here you can choose from all of these uniforms so not only can you import you can export you can edit the name the list now is in alphabetical order which has changed you also have a total here you also have the total that you selected if you want to see that that's also new uh, but it's really nice because you can clean this library and this library can get very 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 unorganized and very sloppy very quickly so like for me i have these ones in here that i know are not good i want to get rid of them if i want to see what they are if they have a picture i'll click on them and the ones that i want to get rid of i can check and delete and now i've deleted them and i'm left with 71 uniforms and so that's the way you do it now if i export my file out and i want to share it with a friend i can do the same thing I can select them all, export. I didn't have any selected a second ago, that's why I did that. I can select them, uh, export, make a new folder, call it all teams for fun. Just so, I mean, it's a name that looks like it makes sense. Hit okay. Now they've all been exported to this folder here called all teams. And inside of their uniforms and all the teams that I have with their corresponding um pictures have been exported out okay so that's pretty much it now um it looks like there's only a certain number of pictures here so let me just double check and make sure that that looks okay so we have the the eagles we have yeah that's all there Yeah, so that's that's the number of pictures that came through. Now, when I imported, you see all these pictures that I have. I have more pictures here than I actually have. So, for instance, Red Dogs, right? I have the Red Dogs in there. Um, now, this was a file that I just created manually, okay? So, or I did it probably before, and I've made some changes. But this this file here should not have the Red Dogs. And it doesn't. It has the browns that say red dog. So it's a different name, right? So not to confuse you, but this red dog's picture was in here because I threw it in here. That's why it looks a little different. But the bottom line is you can export now and you can import now. Okay, if you just want to import, let's just say I want to export just the eagles. Okay, I can export them out. Create a new folder if you need to. If you don't create a folder, it's going to just create the uniform folder on your desktop, which is fine. But I already have one here, so I don't want to overwrite it. Okay. So the Eagles one is the one I'm going to choose. Hit export. Now if I look at my Eagles folder over here, and I look at what's in here. I'm going to see the Eagles and the Eagles, right? So it's a great way to back up your your um, your own existing. Uh, uniforms but you can also share them with the community export them out I would zip up what I would recommend doing is zipping up 
you could just zip up this entire thing. I would do send, send compressed folder. What that does is it brings it to a compressed file like this. And you would just share this with the community on our Discord channel or wherever you want to. And it has all the, you know, the exported um, jerseys that you, that you basically want to share with the community, right? And if I want to go ahead and just show you one more time, I'm going to delete the Eagles. I'm going to re-import the same Eagles file that I just had. And voila, the Eagles are there. So this is really powerful. A lot of people have been asking me for this. And I took some time to put this together. It, uh, it wasn't as simple as I had planned, but I've done a pretty thorough amount of testing. It seems to be working, and it's in the latest release today if you want to go and pick it up. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Keep making your rosters, and I'll catch you in the next video.